How are you? I feel fine. Today we are going to conclude the story Leela Spread. Boys, try to remember the entire matter that we have discussed till now. Leela got a friend in Siddha. And what had happened? A fine friendship flourished between them. A little later, what had happened? Siddha had gone for an Iran and when he returned, Mrs. Sipshankar found that the chain was missing from the neck of Leela. And naturally, she had a suspicion that Siddha had stolen it and they had that kind of suspicion and there was nothing wrong in it. She asked Siddha about it and he had no answer and suddenly he ran. Now, after a few days, the police brought Siddha in the house of Mr. Sivshankar and he was asked by Mr. and Mrs. Sivshankar what had happened. Siddha still had no answer. Leela wanted him to be released. But nothing happened and the inspector stopped Leela from going near Siddha. The inspector told Leela that he had stolen her gold chain. But Leela was always in the favor of her friend. What happened after that? You see? What a devil you must be to steal a thing from such an innocent child. Try to understand. Remark the inspector. The inspector asked, What kind of evil you are? Because you have stolen the chain from a little child. Isn't it very cruel? Even now it is not too late to return it. It was a warning given by the inspector to Silva. I will let you go provided you promise not to do such a thing again. Now, Inspector had a suggestion that I will, even now it's not too late, return it. I will let you go provided you promise not to do such a thing again. The Inspector wanted a promise from Siddha that he would never indulge in any kind of criminal activity like this. Leela's father and mother joined in this appeal. Leela's mother and father also appealed in front of Siddha. Leela felt disgusted with the whole business and said, Leave him alone, he, he has not taken the chain. Trying to understand the child's psychology, she doesn't like her friend to be absolutely tortured or he, he must not be abused or to be told any kind of harsh things, insult and all. You are not at all a reliable prosecution will witness my child observe the inspector humorously. Now try to understand. The inspector said that you are a child, you are not a major, you are a minor. Whatever you are telling, it is of no importance. Eyewitness and all, everything. If somebody, a uh, you know, mature person says something, it has certain value. Little child, no value. No, he has not taken it. Lena screamed. She sounded that. She has, he, has, she has not, he has not taken it. Her father said, baby, if you don't be, uh, behave, I will be very angry with you. Now Mr. Sipsanka was losing his cool. He was becoming angry and he said some strong words to Lita. Half an hour later, the inspector said to the constable, take him to the station. When Siddha did not confess, Inspector told the constable to take him to the police station. 
I think I shall have to sit with him tonight. What is being said by the inspector that he has to sit with him for the night. The constable took Siddha by the hand and turned to go. Why? Because Siddha had not confessed his crime. They had, means Inspector, Mr. Sipsankar, Mrs. Sipsankar, they have great, you know, belief that Siddha is the real culprit. He has taken away the chain because no one else can do it. And what is the basis of this kind of belief? The basis is that the inspector has said that he had been to jail several times because he had taken or rather stolen the golden uh, you know, ornaments from the gold ornaments from the children. Leela ran behind them crying, don't take him, leave him here, leave him here. She was so sad that her friend was being taken by the She clung to Siddha's hand, she held it tightly. He looked at her mutely, like an Animals don't communicate in the similar manner. Siddha was only looking at Leela like a new animal. Animals do not have words in their mouth. They are dumb. They are only watching whatever is happening around them. In the similar manner it is happening here. Mr. Sivsankar carried Leela back into the house. Mr. Simpsankar carried Leela back into the house. Leela was in tears. She was absolutely in tears. Every day when Mr. Simpsankar came home, he was asked by his wife any news of the jewel and by his daughter, where is Sita? Boys try to realize this. Wife of Mr. Shepsalkar asking a question every day whether they had got any kind of news regarding the jewelry. And secondly, what had happened? Leela came in front and asked about her friend. Two persons, two psychology, two kind of questions Mr. Shepsalkar regularly faced. And Yet, he did not have any answer regarding the queries of mother and daughter. They still have him in the law. It was the answer. Means Siddha is still in the law. Though he is very stubborn and won't say anything about the jewel, said Mr. Shepsha. What is happening exactly? Siddha is such a stubborn person that he is not at all confessing in front of the policemen and constables that he has committed such kind of crime. He is not at all ready to confess. That is the only answer Mr. Sivsankar had. But what a tough, uh, rough fellow he must be, said his wife with a shiver. Mrs. Sivsankar shivered and said, what a rough person Siddha is. Why? Because in spite of so much of persuasion, he has yet not confessed the crime. They are pretty sure that Siddha has stolen it, but the thing is that Siddha has yet not confessed. But what a rough fellow he must be, said wife with a shiver. Oh, these fellows 
who have been in jail once or twice lose all fear. What is happening? Mr. Shiv Sankar said that these fellows who have been in jail once or twice lose all fear. They are fearless because they have gone to jail. What is the ultimate result of a crime? Jail. And when a person has gone half a dozen of times jail, this kind of thing is not going to create any kind of fear in his mind. He is a, uh, such an experienced person that uh, the, the, the name of police, the name of jail, punishment, these things are not going to create any kind of fear in his mind. <clears throat> Nothing can make them confess. A few days later, boys, I had told you that R. K. Narayan is such a writer where there is automatic solution of every problem. And now you are going to see the automatic solution. Nobody is doing any effort to solve the problem and the problem is going to be solved automatically in sequence. A few days later, putting her hand into the tamarind pot in the kitchen, Leela's mother picked up the chain. Try to realize, try to feel, try to visualize the situation, what is happening here. Leela's mother put her hand into the tamarind pot. What is that? A choti si handi jis ke andar imli rakhi hui hai. Why? Because you know boys, in South India, every dish has tamarind as an important ingredient. Unke bojan mein imli ka padana aavshak hota hai. It is so important in their food. So, she put her hand into the tamarind pot and found the chain. Automatic solution was into the tamarind pot in the kitchen. Leela's mother picked up the chain. She took it up, took it to the tap and washed off the coating of tamarind on it. She washed it. It was unmistakably Leela's chain. Boys, the, the chain of Leela was found in the tamarind pot. When it was uh, shown to her, Leela said, give it here, I want to wear the chain. Now Leela is asking the chain from her mother. She says that she wants to wear it. How did it get into the tamarind pot? Mother asks. Mother has a question. She is asking a question to her daughter. How did it get into the tamarind pot? Mother asks. Somehow replied Leela. Innocent child Leela said somehow. Did you put it in? Asked mother. Yes. When long ago the other day. Boys try to feel the answer of the innocent child Leela. She did not have to say anything else. She had to say that she had put it there long before. I don't know, said Leela. Why sorry? Long ago other day. Why did you say why didn't you say so before? Tumne kaha kyo nahi? The mother had a question to us. She, she asked, why did she not tell it to her? When all kind of, you know, hue and cry was made regarding the lost chain at that time, there was a question. Mother asked, why did you not say? I don't know, said Leela. When father came home and was told, he said, now, Try to compare, boys. Compare. When Mr. Sipsankar came, he got the news that the chain was lost. The man immediately went to the police station. He has now returned from office 
and has got the news that the chain was found. See this. When father came home and was told, he said, the child must not have any chain hereafter. Didn't I tell you that I, I, I saw her carrying it in her hand once or twice? Now father is reminding, I had seen her carrying the chain in her hand once or twice. She must have dropped it into the pot sometime. And all this bother on account of her. Or if Betty ki galti ki itani badi saja. What is happening? Little mistake committed by the daughter and all kind of problem has arisen. What about... Uh, Siddha asked mother, Ab Siddha ka kya kya jai? Deko, a normal person would have gone immediately to police station and had said, I'm very sorry, Siddha has not stolen the chain. Please release him. I am sorry for the great mistake I have committed. But Mr. Siv Sankar is not such a kind hearted, large hearted person. He is not going there. See this. I will tell the inspector tomorrow. He had gone immediately to lodge an FIR or a complaint, whatever you say. But this time, Mr. Sip Sankar is not at all interested in going there. Any, in any case, we could not have kept the criminal life within the house. Boys, the last line, trying to feel. In any case, we could not have kept a criminal life him in the house. Try to understand, try to realize, try to analyze what kind of people they are. An innocent person like Siddha. He had not committed the crime, yet he was jailed. But boys, when we analyze it, we find that Siddha had committed the crime many, many hours, uh, sorry, many years ago. Now he was trying to change himself, but it was not possible for him to change his stance. It, it was not possible for him to lead a normal life because his past was so dark that it was following him in the same direction. Whoever had committed the crime, the total responsibility fell back upon Siddha. And now what is happening, Siddha is innocent but Mr. Sinsankar wants to go to police station the next day. So boys, it is the end of the chapter. We will discuss some of the final points in the next class and I am going to give you all the questions that you have to prepare uh, for the forthcoming exams because uh, two prose, two poetry that will be uh, or maybe three poetry for your first term examination so okay fine thank you